Hi, I'm Graham Wilson, the chairman of Volunteer Golf Club in North Northumberland. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to our great golf course, which is about 16 miles north of Hexham and 10 miles south of Kielder Water in Border Riva country. Um, we've got a good golfer here today to show us how to play some of our holes. And George Cowan, who's probably the best player that this club has ever had. Uh, when did you first start to play here, George? I started playing when I was about 10 years old, when my uh, uncle and my, and my dad brought me over. Um, played here all the time when I, in my amateur career until I was uh, 26. Won the club championship seven times. Won the county championship once and then turned pro not long after. And you're playing on the Euro Pro Tour playing now? Playing on the Euro Pro Tour now and uh, all the local PGA events. So with no further ado, we'll take you out onto the course and you can show us how to play some of these holes properly. Hopefully. <laughs> right, this is the 12th hole at Bellingham Golf Club. It's a 347 yard par four. George, how are you going to play this one? Well, this is always, unless you've got a big tailwind, Graham, it's a layup hole. So normally I would hit a long iron, probably a four or five iron today. I've got a four to try and get in good position from where we hit just a short iron and normally just 125 yards if you hit a good tee shot, that's what it'll leave you. Over the stream? Over the stream, don't hit it fat, don't miss it, it. otherwise it's a watery grave. Okay, let's have a go. Right, come on. Well, that should work. Yeah, up the middle. Just where yeah, I want to be. Leaves you about what, 110? Less. A uh, little bit more than that, maybe, about 125. Yeah. Good. Yeah, the 12th hole here is called Dormouse um, and it's a bit of a sleeping sort of giant really. It's not terribly long but you've got to put your tee shot in the right place which is actually where we are standing. Yeah, you don't want to go left, you've got the big tree there and if you go the other side of that it's just death, Goodbye. death valley. <laughs> if you go on the other side there's trees and that roof's a lot thicker than it used to be so you don't want to be over there and if you go over the top then it's uh, a very awkward shot from where most people hit it in the burn from there, don't they? Yeah, so the answer is you've got to get it in the right place. So what have we got left here now? We've got 117 yards to the pin, slightly downhill, gap wedge. With a nice little burn in front nice of the green. Nice little burn in front. Don't, <laughs> Which shouldn't bother you. Don't, hit it, uh, don't take too much turf. There's a slope behind the green, so you don't want to be on that because you don't want to chip back. It's a tricky shot from there. Okay then, George, hit the shot. Right, no problems. Ooh, I like that. Come on. Yeah, fine shot. Oh, then can you knock the putt in? <laughs> Hopefully. Right, here we go, put for a three. What's this going what do to do? Think? What's this going to do then? A little bit of right to left maybe, you think? Or pretty straight? Uh, I no bother. Easy does it. Nice easy three. That's the way to play that tool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the uh, 14th, and it's, what have you got on your Let's have a bush look. now? 151 yards to the flag. 151 yards. But this, this is one of the, the really memorable holes at Ballingham. Par three, down the hill. Down the hill, hard to pick a club. Always, because uh, the wind swirls around in this little bowl here. Yeah. You never know whether the wind's hurting, whether it's coming across. So it's always tricky to pick a club. But a lovely looking golf hole. And, and my favourite, 
Number four. four. When was the last time you had a par on there, Grim? Yesterday, actually. <laughs> 120 yards, and it absolutely teases the life out of me. <laughs> Has done since I was about 15 years old. Right. Um, I, I think, j just to give perspective on the course, the total distance of the course off the metal tees is about 6,100 yards, which is a... Yeah, it's a modern standards, it's very short, isn't it? But I mean, for a club golfer, social golfer, it's a very, it's a nice yardage, very yeah. playable. It's a great place for a dad and his son to, to play golf, uh, because it's 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 not so long that that, that the youngster feels it's uh, you know beyond them, um, but it, by the same token, it's not short no, either. That's right. That's Now that looks tasty. Yeah, great shot. Now well then, here's a challenge for you. <laughs> 15 inches. You'll never live it down if you don't knock that one in. No fear of steady men. Easy to. Very good. Right, and on we go. Yep. Okay, this is the 18th at Bellingham. Uh, a terrifying par four if you if you need four for a good score. Yeah, it's only 374 yards, but it's a tricky tee shot because if you get stuck up on the wrong part of the slope, at the, or you get into the trees at the bottom of the hill, you get blocked out, or you can hit it too far right into what we call the duck pond. Yeah. And where you've got to hit it over the top of the clubhouse from there. And, and you yeah. don't want to do that on a Sunday afternoon when the bar's full, do you? No, not really. And you may think that you've just hit a great tee shot, but when you get down to the other end, you've probably got 140, 150 yards for your second over two big ravines yeah. uh, to a target that's raised up and is usually into the wind yeah, as well. It is, yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a really fine finishing hole. I know it's cost me one or two competitions over the years. Yeah, it's not easy at all. Three. So how far are you trying to hit this, George? What, 220? Oh, about two, 230, 240. Try and get it in the bottom corner if possible. That looks nice. Okay, so George has hit a really good tee shot here. And this is a dog leg. We've got two ravines and you've got, how far does the yeah, bush not say? So we've got 109 yards. But it's uphill? Slightly uphill. Uh, wind's probably coming slightly into and off the right, and we've got the tricky slope that everybody has to contend with off the uh, on this last hole at Bellingham. So uh, we're going to try and hit a little knockdown pitching wedge, and hopefully... How far right are you going to aim with well, this? Well, we'll try and aim at about five to ten yards right the flag, and hopefully it'll come back in. That looks good. Yeah, great shot. That's a really good shot. Yeah, there's been a lot of cards wrecked at this all yes. over the years. Okay. Yep. Go and see if we can knock the putt in. That was a bit shorter than oh, we expected, yes. wasn't it? It just shows you how strong the wind is. What do you think? A couple of feet of break? Yeah, it's a bit of bit of a big swing from the your yeah. right, I would say. Oh, you're Ooh. giving it a try. Tried to hold it, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> now the pressure is on. Going for the grandstand finish. <laughs> Right, a bit of left to right in this. Well done that man, that's a good four to finish. <laughs> well done George. Two birdies and a par is not yeah, bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> Thanks Grim. I enjoyed Let's that, go good to the fun. Barn.
I hope you've enjoyed seeing George Cowan play some of his favourite holes at Bellingham. And I hope more, more than anything that it tempts you to come and have a go too. It's a great place for golf with the family, with friends, with a society, and we'll surely be pleased to see you. We have great catering, a lovely clubhouse, and the place is waiting for you to arrive. Our website on bellinghamgolfclub.com has online tea booking, and you can call the club by ringing 01434 220530. We look forward to seeing you at Bellingham very soon. Thank you.